it's really easy to make presentations directly in Lucidchart. And in this video, I'll show you a quick way to get started, then show you a few of my favorite tips for speed and customization in my Lucidchart presentations. Start by clicking the Slides button on the panel on the right. You can create new slides with the plus slide button, then resize them by dragging the slide's corners, or move the whole slide by clicking and dragging the orange circle in the top left corner of the slide. What's great about this is that my slides can expand to fit my work instead of having to resize my work in order to fit on a slide. Each slide appears in the slide panel on the right, and you can reorder, delete, or examine more options for your slide using the edit button on the right of each slide. And we'll explore a few of those options in just a second. But now I want to show you my preferred trick for quickly creating slides that perfectly fit the content I want to feature. The trick is this. Select all the objects you want on the slide. For example, I'll select this large container. It's what I want to feature. Then with the container selected, I'll click plus slide. The slide automatically fits and centers the content I've selected. For example, I can now grab a few of these flowchart boxes, click plus slide, and again, I get a slide that perfectly fits to my content. When we preview our presentation, you can see that Lucidchart creates a smooth, animated transition between these slides. Totally gorgeous. Let's talk next about how to change the dimensions of your slides or how to highlight selected objects. I want my next slide to include only this table shape without these flowchart boxes below showing up on my slide. I have two possible solutions for this in Lucidchart. First, I can change the dimensions of my slide by clicking on the slide, then clicking the Shape Properties button in the Properties bar at the top of the canvas. From here, I can click the Lock button to unlock the aspect ratio on the slide, and now when I drag the corners of my slide, I can make it any size I'd like. When I preview the slide, you can see that the area around my table is black instead of showing those extra shapes. My other option for presenting this shape is to create a regular slide around it. So I'll click the table and then click plus slide. And now with the table shape still selected, I can click the edit button next to my slide and choose highlight selected objects. Now when we review our presentation, this slide highlights only the table and grays out everything surrounding it. So again, just make sure that you've selected the object or objects you want to highlight and then choose Highlight Selected Objects from that Edit option on the right. We could highlight multiple selected shapes, a shape and a line, really anything on a particular slide using this Highlight Selected Shapes option. I can present my work to others using the Present button at the bottom of the panel, and this allows me to start my presentation on any slide that I have selected here in the panel on the right. Or I can press the Present button at the top of the screen, and this will always start my presentation from the very first slide. If I share a view-only version of my diagram, others can see my presentation by using the arrow keys on their keyboard. I can also include my presentation in other apps like PowerPoint using the Lucidchart integration. And that's it! Instead of taking screenshots or recreating your work in places like PowerPoint or Google Slides, just use Lucidchart slides to create dynamic, easy, beautiful presentations of your work.